All right, shalom, shalom. Uh, all praise to the Most High. I'm gonna do a video that's uh, kind of funny, but not. All right, it's just uh, this is kind of crazy for these heathens. I'm gonna give you a scripture out of the Apocalypse of Abraham, and uh, it's a it's a plague. It's a it's a plague that no one really knows about because a lot of brothers don't read the uh, the pseudepigrapha, but. The plagues fit perfectly, so that's how you know the book uh, has has relevance. So, uh, so apparently, killer whales now are attacking uh, ships. That's that's what's happening. Killer whales are attacking ships. So I'm gonna show you a few videos on it, and then I'm gonna give you a scripture, and we're gonna end it with that. <laughs> Ahí está, ahí está. No es la misma. A ver si me va a romper el timón, eh. Me está dando unas hostias. Que me está haciendo daño, hostia. Para, para velocidad. Que mira, 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 qué bicho, qué bicharraco, colega. ¡Willy, hijo puta! ¡Vuelve! Ay, va el timón, que va el timón otra vez. Sí, no, no, está, está, está detrás, está debajo, está debajo. Está aquí, la tengo aquí, mira. Está, 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 va otra vez detrás del timón, eh. Está aquí debajo. Está, te está dando, te está dando. Rompió el timón. Rompió el timón. Rompió el timón. So this, Hijo de puta. Uh, well, you see, these whales uh, have, uh, they've had enough. You know, they've had enough, just like everybody. And just like the scriptures say, the curses are now turning on them, you know. I'm going to read your article too. Here it is right here. Researchers are uh, puzzled by a group of crazy killer whales attacking boats near Spain. Now, isn't this amazing that our people were in Spain and Portugal? That's that's where the majority of the slavery uh, came from. And that's what these people don't really understand. So it's just amazing how it's happening in these waters. All right, researchers are baffled by a group of killer whales that are attacking boats off the coast of Spain and Portugal. The whales appear to have targeted sailboats traveling along the Strait of Gibraltar to Galatia in multiple incidents over the last two months, damaging boats and injuring sailors they're injuring sailors this proves to you that the most high is here and he's not playing with these devils he's here and he's using his creatures to do so and just and just uh you know you think this uh killer whale or something wait till he brings out leviathan wait till we bring out leviathan people ain't gonna know what to do with that one sailor victoria morris described an incident to the guardian that felt totally orchestrated after a group of nine whales surrounded a boat and rammed it for an hour. The noise was really scary. They were ramming the kill. There was the horrible echo. I thought they would I thought they could capsize the boat, Morris said, and this deafening noise as they communicated, whistling to each other, it was so loud that they that we had to shout, Wow. The boat needed to be towed away because the dams were so extensive. The crew later reported the rudder was rendered unusable and there were bite marks on the keel and the ship's underside. So they were trying to destroy the boat and they were trying to kill the people inside. Alright, so now I'm just going to give you a scripture. So these these uh, these uh, whales were trying to put these people to death. And they've done it multiple times. Not just with them. They've, they've, uh, um, they've done it with multiple people. So... As you can see, and here's another one, this is a yacht. So this is a different one. There it is. That was a quick one. All right, let's see here. Let's get this video right quick.
<clears throat> Killer whales have been ramming into and damaging sailing boats off the Spanish and Portuguese coasts, leaving marine experts perplexed about the suddenly aggressive encounters. Orcas are highly intelligent and known to follow boats closely, but it's unusual for them to repeatedly attack the vessels, the Guardian reported. Over the last two months, the Orca encounters have damaged several boats and left at least one sailor bruised on impact. <laughs> bruised in the latest on impact. incident on Friday, a 36-foot boat was near a Coruña, on the northern coast of Spain, when an Orca rammed its stern about 15 times, the outlet reported. There was a report of a similar incident August 30th when a vessel radioed the Coast Guard to say it was under attack from killer whales. On the same day, a Spanish naval yacht, Merfolk, lost part of its rudder to the killer whale encounter. Then on July 29th, a boat was surrounded by nine orcas off Cape Trafalgar in the southwest of Spain. The orcas rammed the hull for over one hour, spinning the boat 180 degrees, disabling the engine and destroying the rudder, the outlet reported. Scientists have called their recent behavior, highly unusual, and, concerning, the outlet reported. Dr. Ruth Esteban has researched orcas off Gibraltar for many years and believes the same group of orcas are responsible for the incidents, saying it's abnormal behavior for the species, the outlet reported. Meanwhile, Spanish maritime authorities warned vessels to keep a distance from any orcas, the report said. Alright, so you see, they are doing orchestrated attacks on ships. And you know who owns these ships. You know, you know. So let's watch this one. An incredible moment was captured on video shocking two fishermen off the coast of San Diego. They saw animals in the distance, but until they got up close, the guys didn't realize it was actually killer whales chasing their boat, seen in this video by Viral Hog. Right under us, still. Right there. They write that there was a pod of 30 orcas swimming and following their boat, and they were jumping in the boat's wake, some even getting a little too close for comfort. Oh, dude! There is even stunning video of the whales under the water swimming alongside their boat. This will surely be a day these guys will never forget. Yep. They're not gonna forget. Be sure to watch Inside Edition. Now let me show you something that they don't know. Okay? This is a book called The Apocalypse of Abraham. Now this is actually a plague. These animals that are attacking people, and it's not just killer whales, goats, uh, uh, cows, horses, they're all attacking Esau. Alright, now watch this. Let me just read chapter 30. And I'm going to get you the actual plague that I'm talking about, okay? And while he was still speaking, I found myself on earth, and I said, Eternal Mighty One, I am no longer in the glory in which I was above, and all that my soul desired to understand in my heart I do not understand. And he said to me, I will explain to you the things you desire in your heart, for you have sought to know the ten plagues which I have prepared against who? The heathens. And I prepared them beforehand in the passing of the twelfth hours on earth. Hear what I tell you. It is thus. The first, sorrow for much need. The second, fiery conflagrations of cities. You know the fires is happening right now. The third, destruction by pestilence. That means viruses and diseases among the cattle. So viruses and diseases among the cattle. That happened already too. The fourth, famine of the world. That's what's happening next. That's what people need to get ready for. Of their generation, the fifth among the rulers. Destruction by earthquake and sword. The sixth, increase of hell and snow. Listen to this. The seventh, wild beasts will be their grave. There it is right there for you. Let me uh, put that bigger. Put that bigger. Wild beasts will be their grave. So you see what's happening here. The wild beasts are turning turning on Esau and uh, putting him in his grave. That's that's pretty much what's about to happen. You you, ain't, you haven't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. All right, so I just want to make this video real quick. Uh, I just want to show you how these killer whales ain't playing. The most high is putting a spirit on every animal to, to, to attack heathens. All right, all praise to the most high. Shalom.